This lesson is on RevPAR index, not to be confused with calculating RevPAR. Calculating RevPAR index is very different and how we use it is very different as well. So RevPAR index calculation takes into account the performance of your hotel relative to the other hotels in the competitive set. So typically what happens is your owners, along with your management company, will agree on the hotels that are in your hotel's competitive set. Once that list is established, it will be maintained for a long period of time. And what the RevPAR index shows and whether your hotel is getting its fair share of the business. So it's just like sitting down at the table with mom and she just baked a pie and you've got four brothers and your dad and uh, your mom, and we've got to split that pie into seven equal slices. Someone's going to get a bigger slice and someone's going to get a smaller slice. That's just what's going to happen. The same thing happens with RevPAR index. And understanding whether your hotel has a positive index or a negative index is key. So in the second slide, we see how the calculation is performed. And it all starts by understanding uh, the room base in each one of the hotels extrapolating the total number of rooms available for the month we're looking at, dividing it by the actual rooms occupied, and these are the same ones that are reported into STR, calculating the occupancy, and then comparing that to what the potential capture should be. Noting the difference between the potential and the actual produces the net capture index, multiplied by the average rate equals the RevPAR. From there, we can calculate the RevPAR index by simply dividing the total room revenue for your hotel or any hotel into the total room revenue for the competitive set. That's how we calculate RevPAR index. On the last slide, we're actually looking at the report that STR would supply to a hotel where they break out the occupancy and rate by transient, group, and contract. Each part of this comp set report is critical to understanding where your property is performing relative to the competition and whether you're losing or gaining share in either the transient, group, or contract market segment. We can look at it for the month and we can also look at it year to date. RevPAR index is one of the two pillars that typically we find in management agreements. If a hotel misses hitting their RevPAR index target two years in a row, sometimes the owners can actually cancel the management agreement on the hotel and take down the flag. So that's RevPAR index. RevPAR index is a critical concept for you to understand. Owners, management companies, even banks are critical about how your hotel is performing relative to its competition. It's not difficult to understand. Simply look at your slice of the pie compared to the whole pie. And are you getting your fair share?